Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Page of Wands in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the Sun upright. And next we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, we have the Three of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Gemini, we have for your overall energy, the Page of Wands in the upright position. Page of Wands is really nice energy. One of my favorite cards in the deck. I like the Page of Wands a lot. First of all, it's a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. That of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, it could be that you get an incredible message either from or about a fire sign. Um, this can represent a, an exciting message or even uh, he does also govern uh, parcels coming in the mail, maybe that you've been waiting on for a while. Mercury has been retrograde. It is now moving forward. So perhaps anything that was delayed uh, in the post, uh, it could be now finally headed your way. For some of you, this can be excellent news concerning travel. This can be excellent news uh, coming to you about just about anything the Page of Wands brings in beautiful, exciting, and um, sometimes unexpected news. <laughs> coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the sun in the upright position, the Leo card. It is a beautiful, beautiful energy, and it comes in right off the hop for you. Gemini, beautiful. Some of you could be involved with a Leo. Uh, some of you could be just experiencing some beautiful success, attainment, and high vitality coming right off of the hop. So coming into the week, maybe you guys had a fantastic weekend and you're feeling on top of the world, your vitality, your health could be feeling good again. Um, this can also point to victory, success, attainment in any goals perhaps that you had going on, Gemini. Beautiful, the sun is here to shine on you. Now, it's paired up with the uh, Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse position. Queen of Pentacles, another court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is um, this is Earth energy, that of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, when she's in the upright position, she's a stand-up lady. There's nothing more stable or secure than what the Queen of Pentacles uh, governs. So when she's in the upright, this can point to a lot of stability. This could point to somebody you could be dealing with. Uh, this could be a financial advisor, an accountant, or something like that. Um, even your boss. When she's in the upright, this is great news. When she's reversed, not so much, uh, Gemini. It could be that something in your life is feeling a little bit unstable. It can represent perhaps um, financially you feel a little bit off or there's something you need to to attend to in the financial realm or this could even represent your jo job or your home all of the things the tangible things that the pentacles cover uh, governs so it could be that something is a little bit off there in terms of can be a relationship that feels a little bit unstable can be a job that's feeling a little bit unstable or even your finances now, moving towards the weekend, we have beautiful energies of finances. So even if something is a little bit off at the early part of the week, it looks like um, your financial situation, if that's what it's uh, playing out for you, it turns around uh, towards the end of the week. Gemini, Ten of Pentacles is beautiful, beautiful, affluent and abundance in terms of uh, security, finances, and um, anything. Uh, it's also known as a good family card. So sometimes too, this can point to inheritance or uh, say someone in the household has gotten a raise or uh, got a job and now there's a lot more money coming in. Beautiful, beautiful energy. 
And the last card you have up is the Three of Wands in the upright position. This points to very progressive movement here. You are progressing very nicely in some project. It could be for some of you, Gemini, maybe this news that comes in uh, helps you to sort of build, it's, a, it's part of the building block of whatever you're progressing towards. In the Three of Wands, he just needs that one more wand and he reaches the summit, right? So you're almost there, Gemini, whatever it is you're building. Some of you could be building on a relationship. Others of you could be building a literal home. Um, others of you could be building up your business or whatever, however it is playing out for you, Gemini. Something is progressing very, very nicely for you at the end of the week. Now, I, I will be pulling an oracle card here to end the read for you, just to get an extra message, see what else your own secret message from the wisdom oracle then here is your message gemini joy happy happy joy joy look at that look at how happy she is in that card <laughs> very pretty so yes i can definitely see you being in your joy with this beautiful energy and this great news you'll have to let me know in the comment section below what this great news is for you <laughs> So uh, that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.